Danny Thompson, child of the late, awesome Mickey Thompson, satisfied a deep-rooted dream when he smashed the cylinder-controlled, wheel-driven land speed record at Bonneville with the rankling to weigh normal keep running of 448.757 miles per hour Sunday. We did it. Thompson composed on the group's site. On Sunday morning, eight long periods of diligent work finished in a 450.909 mile per hour return run. Arrived at the midpoint of what yesterday's speed of 446.605 miles per hour, we accomplished another to weight AA slash FS record of 448.757 miles per hour, enough to make us the world's quickest cylinder fuel auto. Like everything that occur at 450 miles per hour, it didn't come effectively. It got a little squirrely, Thompson said. I was nearly bolt to bolt at around 430 miles per hour, which was a significant affair. That might be the maddest representation of the truth of the year. In the event that you've at any point had a wheel wobble on the roadway driving on the snow, you may start to think about what Thompson's kept running over the Bonneville Salt Flats resembled. In a video he posted on his site, you can see him go nearly bolt to bolt at full speed to keep the auto in line. It's astonishing to envision. Be that as it may, this was something beyond a world record. Thompson made the keep running in a similar auto his dad Mickey Thompson worked in 1968 to 50 years back. The current year's speed week denoted the 50th commemoration of the Challenger 2's development, Danny Thompson said. In 1968, my father, the frantic researchers at Carcraft and a tip-top gathering of Southern California gearheads made a vehicle that they accepted could turn into the world's quickest dragster. It took five decades, a great deal of elbow oil, and a couple of changes, yet I sense that I've at long last possessed the capacity to satisfy their fantasy, and also my own. Much appreciated folks. I share the present record with every one of you. For Mickey Thompson, the motivation for the greater part of this, Bonneville was only one of many, many race settings at which he exceeded expectations. He constructed autos and set records in everything from Baja to racing to the Indy 500, and established stadium dashing en route. In 1960, Mickey Thompson came to Bonneville with Challenger 1, a wild, four-engine streamliner that seemed as though it originated from another planet. He ran 406.60 miles per hour with four blown Pontiac V8s fueling the auto, the main American to go more than 400. He was en route to back up the keep running the other way, which is required to set a record, when mechanical troubles prematurely ended that year's endeavor. Mickey returned to Bonneville in 1968 with the two-engine Challenger 2, yet train shielded him from running. Lost sponsorship dropped any 1969 comeback to the salt. Both Mickey Thompson and his better half Trudy were killed in 1988, a previous business accomplice was sentenced to ranging that wrongdoing. Challenger 2 was placed away, yet it was an overlook by Thompson's child Danny. With a huge team of volunteers, and with cash raised apparently everywhere, did you see him at SEMA with the auto stopped out front quite a while prior? Danny Thompson returned. Two years prior, he drove it to 406.70 at Bonneville yet knew he could go quicker. This year, he at last did. We're in the books. What an incredible day.